out another press plate out of three quarter inch plate. Use our lag mirror and our hypertherm power max 45. We've done it before, we're gonna try it again. Now you gotta edge start it like here. So how we do that is we kinda of get it roughed out where it should go. There's our zero zero, it's on the plate. And then I just quick check. Make sure I'm still on the plate. we're going to be on a plate there. Of course we'll be there. Okay, so that looks like it'll make the plate. You could dry run it here, but we're going so slow at 7 inches a minute or whatever it is, it takes 20 minutes to dry run it. So we just do that. And then you got to edge start it. So what we do is What I do, there's probably a better way. So I find the lead in spot. And then I move my torch over to it. As close as I can get to it. And then I'll basically I'll move my plate and line it up there. So basically when it comes over, it will be starting right on that edge. So go to try and see what happens here.
piece. Pretty ugly looking right now. See that draws a little better. Of it. See how square it is. Okay, we're going to rip this plate in two because it's too big to fit in our press. We should have just fixed the program, but yeah. So we're going to use a straight line cut deal on here, which is right there. And what that does is it allows you to do a quick straight cut if you want to. I use it a lot of times to cut the crap off, uh, square up a sheet, cut the junk off an old sheet. So you just set it up and cut it. So basically what you do is you set your torch up where you want it. And, uh, you know, we got a line on there, so we got our torch lined up. And we just move the plate back and forth to get that where we want it. And then once we get to where we started, that's where we set our zero, zero. And then uh, <clears throat> you can measure the length of the cut with a tape measure. <clears throat> or you could use the DRO on the screen here and just manually jog once you set the zero point. And it looks like it's about eight and a half inches. So go back to our zero, zero. Take a straight line cut. Got to tell it what direction you're going in. Gives you an arrow there to tell you if you don't know which Y plus and Y minus and blah 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 is. So we're going to go Y minus. And we're going to go put the length in there 8.55. Make it a little longer. Cut speed 7 inches a minute. Initial heights, uh, 1.5 second pierce delay, generate the program. Then it's going to ask you if you want to generate the program, which you want to yes. And then it'll show you. We'll get our ground down here. Probably going to move the plate now. We can quick check it. Looks good. Go back to zero, zero. Hit the go button. Didn't make the 
length of cut quite long enough. We had this little nib that was holding us. But we got it busted apart. We'll knock the slag off here and see what it looks like. in there but I think my torch is probably whacked I think I hit something with it the other day and if it ain't I don't guess I don't care that's good enough for what I'd be doing with three quarter anyhow there's where we had started that's where we stopped and didn't cut all the way through. Wasted some more material making stupid snowmobile signs. Made Arctic Cat one. Made a snow jet one. Made a rough one. There's a new sign we made for one of our clients. Them the guys with the snowmobiles. They told us not to come around or we'd be arrested for trespassing last time we were there, so they must be over that. We got that sign all made up for them. They'll be prepared to pick it up soon. Rem Corp hooked us up with a new job here for the plasma table. He's making some sort of, these are going to be remote levers for a hydraulic system or something that he's working on. We didn't have to worry about the, the tube here. We just had to cut out the shape for them. And this is what we made. 
pretty close. One thing he specked out, he wanted a bigger, uh, some more meat here where the pin goes. So as time goes on, you can enlarge that hole and uh, get a more life out of the handle. He's always thinking stuff like that. He's smart. <laughs>